Hello everyone, Diecast Rhino here. Today we're going to take a look at part one of the Matchbox truck series, so stay put. Welcome to the channel, thanks for stopping by. I gotta tell you, I love to collect pickup trucks. And here you can see some of what I've got so far. So today I thought I'd bring out the first half of the Matchbox truck series for this year. This is a 12 car set that is being released in two phases. The spring phase, which is what we have here, and a future fall release. And you can see what's coming with that second release there. As you can see from this graphic, it looks like this is a Walmart exclusive. So let's jump right into this truck series and see what we've got. Number one in the series is the Nissan Hardbody. This is a pretty new casting from Matchbox. The only other release so far was in the 2020 Jungle series. This is the Nissan D21 pickup, also known as the Hardbody. Hardbody was nothing more than a marketing tool that Nissan used when this vehicle came out in late 1985. This was the direct replacement for the Datsun 720, and it was the first truck that the company made under its new name, Nissan. They produced these trucks until 1997. This Matchbox version is dark blue with some light gray graphics on each side. It's got Nissan written in light blue block letters. There's a lot of detail on this truck. You can see the hinges on the pop-up sunroof. And if you look at it at the right angle, you can also see that that sunroof is popped open a little. There's a spare tire and some chains in the truck bed. There's side view mirrors up front and a trailer hitch on the back. This truck comes with a gray plastic base and some 10 spoke wheels. Number two is the Subaru Sambar. Surely you remember these from 2020. I'm sure you saw dozens of them on the pegs every time you went hunting. There may even still be some out there. I know I can still find some around here occasionally. So the Sambar was introduced by Matchbox in 2019 with their pearl blue version. And then we saw it again in 2020, you know, that white one. I don't know how well it sold, but they decided to step it up a bit in this series and made it red with the Sriracha Tempos. I gotta say, I think it's an improvement. This little guy is heavily detailed. The front end contains the grill, and the license plate holder. The Sriracha bottle and logo have been added to the doors, but the truck bed is where the details really hit. This casting has all the tie downs all the way around. And if you look closely, you'll even see the hinges that make it so that the sides of the bed can fold down just like the tailgate does. Underneath on the passenger side, we can see the spare tire. On the rear, you see all the marker lights, license plate holder, the tail lights have been painted. And finally, you can make out Subaru and Sambar painted on the tailgate. This base is black plastic and it's got black rimmed chrome disc wheels. Third in this series is a step-side version of the 1975 Chevy C10. Matchbox has been making this casting since 2008 and they did a slight retool in 2015. This green step-side is actually a re-release of the truck that was available in the Service Center 5-pack in 2009. I happen to have one of those here as well. This is sort of an odd thing that Matchbox does now and then. They will release a casting done in the exact same colors, same graphics, same wheels, etc. as they did on a car years ago. In this case, they waited 12 years to re-release this one. You can see that they are exactly the same, with one exception. Since one of these was built before the retool, and one was after, we can tell which truck is the 09 version and which one is the 21 version. You can see that the step on the step side was originally part of that metal body, and now with the retool, it's part of the plastic base. Anyway, this casting comes complete with a sunroof up top and the garage service center on the doors. It's got a trailer hitch on the rear as well as Chevrolet molded into the tailgate. You can also see that the newer casting has a metal tab in the truck bed that's part of the body. This truck has a gray plastic base and cut tri-spoke wheels. Next up is the 2016 Chevy Colorado Extreme. This first came out in 2017 as a Toy Fair exclusive to celebrate 65 years of Matchbox. 
This particular Colorado casting is a version of a concept truck that Chevy's Thailand division put out in 2016. It was never a production vehicle. Extreme editions of the Colorado do exist. It's basically a trim package that covers bumpers and fenders, headlights, etc. But they don't look like this. On the front end, you can see the painted headlights as well as the molded skid plate, tow hooks, fog lights. The snorkel is painted the same as the rest of the body. The oversized fenders are black plastic. It has narrow running boards and the roof rack. The spare is in the truck bed. The tailgate has Chevrolet painted on it and the tail lights are painted as well. The base is black plastic and it has six spoke utility wheels. Number five in the set is the 35 Ford pickup. This is another fairly new casting for Matchbox as the 35 Ford pickup came out in 2019. Here we see a photo of a stock 35 Ford. So this obviously is a heavily modded hot rod version of that same truck. They've lowered the suspension, chopped the top, got rid of all four fenders and running boards, ran the exhaust to the sides through some big pipes, had to relocate the headlights a little, took off the front bumper and swapped out the tires for what looks like a racing configuration. The grille on the front looks like it has a lot more slant to it than the Ford stock pickup does. I'm assuming they left the Ford Flathead V8 under the hood. This brick red version has Ford Motor Company and script on both sides of the hood. Ford Genuine Parts is spelled out on the doors along with a big Ford V8 logo. There's a tiny little matchbox printed just below each window and another V8 logo to the rear of each side window. The exposed engine is part of the gray plastic interior piece. The base is black plastic and as mentioned before, it's got different wheels on the front and back. Up front are black rim, red chrome disc wheels, and on the back it's got red chrome ringed gear wheels. Finally, at number six, we have the 2008 Holden VE Ute SSV. So I was completely unfamiliar with the Holden name and had to do some research. Maybe some of this info will be new to you as well. Holden is actually the Australian subsidiary of General Motors and has been since 1931. Holden continued to manufacture cars until 2017 when they switched over to just importing vehicles from other manufacturers under the Holden name. Finally, in 2020, GM announced it would retire the Holden brand altogether in 2021. The term ute was originally meant to mean a coupe utility vehicle, which had a passenger compartment in the front and a cargo tray in the rear, but the front of the cargo tray doubled as the rear of the passenger compartment. In other words, think Chevy El Camino or Ford Ranchero. They functioned like trucks, but the cargo bed was not a separate piece from the passenger compartment. Over time in Australia, the term ute also began to be used for any kind of utility vehicle or pickup truck. This 2008 ute, a second generation model, is metal flake purple with matchbox and a huge Falcon logo on each side. Red and white striping complete the graphics. It reminds me of a cross between the older Honda Ridgeline and an El Camino. The interior is made to be right-hand drive. It's got a black plastic base and white rimmed 10 spoke wheels. So that's gonna do it for the first half of the Matchbox truck series for this year. Be on the lookout for these in your local Walmart. Drop a note in the comments, let us know which one's your favorite. Don't forget to also like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.